Alright, just a quick video here. This is the, uh, the Yezu 800 meter, 800S. And the little light went out. So uh, they sent me a new lamp. No minimum orders. Very reasonable. Get the bulb. But you know, you gotta take. <clears throat> of course, you take the cover screw off. Two screws. Then there's three screws on the bottom. And then there's these screws here for those that you gotta take out and uh, everything's kind of intertwined so you gotta be careful and there's where it sits see if I can zoom in on the bulb I don't know it's just kind of a weird thing that's just kind of stuck right there so they got a little piece of shrink tubing or something so anyway I get the replacement I asked them if they had an LED replacement. They said no. But uh, now would be a good time, though, to put an LED in there instead. But you got to diffuse it. I think what they need to do is put like a, some sort of diffusing mechanism around it. Well, maybe they already do. But anyway, I'm going to change this bulb here and put it back together. It's not a huge dig deal. They said that they will replace it for you for 70 bucks, one hour labor. Then you know you gotta ship it there, they gotta ship it back, and you know, then you're without it. So you can still use your rotor without that light bulb, so I just decided to do it myself. So I'll have this wrapped up in a short time later. Okay, a little closer look here. You can see that they got a film over over the uh, light. The bulb was right in there in the middle of that film. So I gotta figure out. I don't know if that's mylar or what that is, but we'll take it from there. Alright, so I cut the wire on each side. I cut one leg first and then I metered it out just to make sure that it was the bulb and it wasn't just something else, you know. And uh, so I cut it. And then I slid it out from the top, moving that green wire up a little bit. So I didn't want to take that mylar off. I'm afraid that if I take that mylar off, it's, it's going to tear. I'm not going to be able to get that back on there. So try not and destroy the mylar. It's not stuck to the bulb. It's just, you know, it slides out of there. So we'll put the new bulb in now. Okay, when you're putting this piece back in, Right, when you put this back in, see that little screw right there. Okay, this this metal piece has to go behind it. I actually had to loosen that screw a little bit to get it back in place. I'll just uh, make a note of that. And uh, this wire is kind of screwed up. I don't know why they got it just like that. That's Let's get enough room to move around. Just don't pinch it. Now that I look at this, you know, I'm trying to figure out why you would put that like that there. I don't know. I think it's I'm trying to get the indirect lighting and all. But I think if I had to do this again, I might just consider cutting the two wires here and here that go to the bulb. And if you look over here. I would probably just silicone it right to there and get the same effect without all the hassle. Uh, anyway, putting it back up. Putting it back together. Oh, and one last thing. They changed the part number. Here's the new part number. S8101959 and um, as you can see I have another one I bought two because they're like a dollar you know and if this is gonna happen again why not have a spare so they gave you a spare fuse when you bought it and it was taped to the back <laughs> I got a extra bulb and I'm gonna tape it inside so uh, if this goes out again, I got a bulb later.